Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Budget Guitar Show. In this episode, we're going to be modding the HB DC Junior. This guitar, uh, which has already had a few modifications done, including the Chinese pickup put on, um, basically is going to be uh, modified today. We're going to change out the bridge, and we're going to put in a new Wilkinson pickup. As you can see, there's the bridge, uh, that is just too chunky, so we're going to try a music lily bridge and we're going to take out that cheap Chinese pickup and put in a working set. Now as you can see, as we go up the neck, uh, the headstock on this guitar has gone through some modifications. So there's a Gibson decal and the headstock has been reshaped. Now the idea behind this is because I wanted to turn this guitar into a replica of the Johnny Thunders Gibson Jr. Um, the guitar is not going to be sold, it will remain in my collection uh, forever really. Um, so I've just made it to my spec. Anyway, let's get some toads. Okay, so uh, here we are, we have it on the bench here, so let's uh, start undoing the strings and taking those off. Uh, now this is the first time that I've ever done a mod like this. Uh, I have modded my Glary uh, with a, a loaded pit guard, but this is the first time I've done a Gibson style um, and the first time that I've ever used uh, a P90 pickup or done a P90 pickup. Anyway, here's the uh, the bridges that we're swapping out, and uh, yeah, the music really one is far less chunky uh, than the one that came on the guitar. So uh, let's get that one put on uh, and see what happens. Okay, yeah, just got to change the barrels and the screws. So we'll just screw these out because I believe the music little bridge uh, is a little th thinner. Uh, so yeah, those are out. Luckily the screws actually do fit into the uh, sockets that are already on the guitar. And once these are screwed in, we can attach the bridge. Just a few little adjustments to do here.
And yes, the bridge is now on, and uh, that does that does look a much better bridge than the one that came on the guitar. So um, now let's turn our attention to the pickup. So we just unscrew the pickup to see what we've got underneath. Okay, and under there is, of course, my shim, uh, which I will be uh, getting rid of. I won't be needing that anymore. Okay, now let's flip the guitar over. And uh, we'll take a look in the cavity and see what needs to be desoldered. Okay, by the looks of it, there is uh, only one wire that needs to be desoldered from here. So, uh, let's get on with that, shall we? Okay, so we'll desolder this pickup now and uh, get rid of it. Luckily, uh, there's only one wire. Okay, so now we have the uh, brand new Wilkinson pickup in the guitar. Yep, I think this is already going to be a better story than uh, it has been previously of uh, basically the um, height between the bridge, the pickup and the strings. Okay, so let's get this new wire soldered in. It is quite fiddly given the fact that the uh, cavity is really small uh, to actually get the wire in. Okay, I'm not the best soldier in the world, but uh, let's try it. And there we go, it's in. Okay, let's now uh, put this back on, screw it in, and then we'll. Uh, put strings on it and uh, see if it makes a noise.